So the demo videos, that'll take you to, if you click on this RASI design, if you're on the school Wi-Fi, it will take you to the YouTube site. If you click on this class Pixlr demo, if you are on your internet at home, I think it will let you get straight to the playlist. I know when you're on the actual school Wi-Fi, it usually blocks you opening up a playlist. So make sure you're going through this RASI design one. Then the semester two projects is where you'll find all of the different projects. Remember, you need to get eight projects done by the end of the semester. You should be done with your third project by this Friday if you're going to get all eight finished by the end of the semester. Even if you're not completely finished with a project, the end of the semester, give me just a second, I can tell you the date on that. I'm going to expect them by June 4th so that I can actually grade them because I think finals will be that week of June 7th. So you should have eight projects done by June 4th. And remember, it's in, so in the grading, if you get two or three artworks finished, you'll get a D. Four to five finished artworks, you'll get a C. Six to seven finished artworks will be a B. And eight or more finished artworks to get an A in the class. This is finished artworks that have clean cutouts. Everything in the design looks like it goes together. It's original, it's very detailed. It's not a design that you spent 20 minutes trying to put together super fast. Make sure that you're spending, it's supposed to take about two weeks per artwork to be considered a finished artwork. And remember there's 10 different choices. If you end up finishing all 10 of them, you can work on whatever you would like during class after that that relates to graphic design. So please don't rush through this and expect to get good checking grades at the end of the semester if you're just sitting not doing anything in class. So, yes. Okay. It is up to you. You could look up what a standard book size is, but I know depending on if it's a hardcover book, a soft cover book, books can have kind of varying sizes for the design. So you can go with what you think looks appropriate or you can Google and find like a standard book size. You're welcome. All right, then I also added a PNG files. I added this this morning. What I've noticed is a lot of students can't actually download the PNG files. So I gave a link to a folder that has some PNGs that I'm working on compiling so that you can just pick some from this folder. I just started this in the last couple of days, so I don't have a ton of files here yet. But remember, a PNG file is where the background can remain transparent. So if I take one of these files and put it over top of another picture, most of this is see-through except for what you can actually see that's in color. Everything that has that gray and white checker pattern will be see-through when you open it in Pixlr. I'm working on getting a bunch of different PNG files in here. If you have something specific that you would like a ping of, so let's say you need a picture of a landscape or a picture of a sun or a specific planet, I am happy to try and find that ping for you. I know 
the district allows me to access a lot more sites than it allows you guys to. So please email me if you need me to look up something specific as a ping for you. Sometimes these pings are working out better than trying to erase the background out of things in Pixlr. I also gave a few different websites that you can try. I know for the last few years, this free PNGs website has worked. I have actually submitted for the district to keep it unblocked, so I'm hoping that one still works. It will not work if you click this little search button up here, but usually it has worked if you go down and click on these different categories. So let's say you want some type of comic. Let's say you want a Darth Vader picture. You hopefully can get into all these different pings that you can download and then use in your artwork. Again, I don't know for sure if the district is allowing this one this year, but in the past, they have allowed this site. The other site is this PNG egg. I do not know if the district allows it on, their, um, on the internet at school or not, or if it will allow you at home to look up this site but they have a lot of different PNGs. On this site, they have a ton of different advertisements, but if you go down to this little green download ping for free, close the ad, tell it that you're not a robot, then it should automatically pop up a download on your computer. So there's a lot of different steps on this PNG egg because they are funded through having a ton of different advertisements on their site. But it has a lot of different PNGs and you can actually search for something specific. Let's say I want a picture of a horse as a ping. I can type that in and there's going to be a lot of different PNGs that I can choose from. The last one is this reshot site. It's not necessarily PNG photos, but it has a lot of different photos that you can search through. It may work better than like going to Google and trying to find a picture that then the school Wi-Fi doesn't let you actually see a good quality version. And these are all free to download off of the site. You just, again, this site's funded by ads. So when the ads pop up, make sure you're exiting out of the ads, but it should let you download a pretty high quality version of the picture. If there's nothing else, I'm going to let you guys work for the rest of the period. Please let me know if you need anything.